And who takes photos with an iPad? They definitely wouldn't be that good of quality. I feel like iPads always like the worst quality photos. You mean to tell me that like that iPad with that single lens is a better camera than my iPhone 11? Wow. I didn't tell my parents I'm gay. So who do they think I am? This is Harper's orphan friend, Abby. Yes, of course. Hey there. Drive-by movies, you're watching fresh releases. My name's Blaze. And I'm James. And this week we're talking happiest season. I am scared that if I tell them who I really am, I will lose them. Do you know how painful it's been to watch the person that I love hide me? I am not hiding you. I am hiding me. Everybody's story is different. Just because Harper isn't ready doesn't mean she doesn't love you. Happiest Season is Hulu's latest exclusive. It's a holiday romantic comedy that captures the range of emotions tied to wanting your family's acceptance, being true to yourself, and trying not to ruin Christmas. That sounds like a dope hardcore song, like what it's about and stuff. <laughs> I always love hardcore songs and like they're always about being true to yourself and stuff. Like it's about not giving an F about what others say or think about you. And then uh, mosh pit time. Uh, but happiest season. Yeah, we're finally getting in our Christmas season now that it's December. Never have I ever will be talking about a Christmas movie pretty much for the next few weeks, actually. And uh, cool to see that there's one that's a new release for us to check out here for fresh releases. Uh, we were actually going to check out a Christmas movie on Netflix, but here we are uh, talking about happiest season instead. And I'm kind of glad we're talking about this movie versus the what was it, Blaze? Uh, I think we were doing new. We were originally going to do Christmas Chronicles too, <laughs> but I felt like it would have been weird because we didn't even see the first one. So it was like, eh, should we watch the first one and then do it? And then I, I hadn't even heard about this movie until I looked. Like it came into my eco sphere, I guess you could say, and then found out about it. And I was like, oh, that's probably a better Christmas movie to do something to check out that you know we just only heard about. And it's brand new to Hulu. Getting into what our thoughts are, though, I mean, Blaze curious to hear what you thought, but my thoughts like, you yeah, know, it's a pretty good movie. It's nothing fantastic. It's not like going to be a holiday classic for me, but this movie isn't made specifically for me, I'd say, but I still thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm going to recommend it. We'll get into why I recommend it. But there's also a lot of problems within this movie, especially with some of the characters, I'd say not so much the writing or directing. Um, this is I'm not sure if it's Clay Duvall's uh, directorial debut but I'm familiar with her as an actress like uh, The Faculty is one of my favorite movies and she's uh, the goth girl in that movie and she you know she's in a bunch of other movies as well too but of course that's what I mainly remember her for and it's cool to see her directing a movie especially with this caliber with like a pretty cool cast as well but Blaze what do you think? So I have to say what would equality be if it wasn't that everyone needs to have their own shitty Christmas movie. Yeah. I felt like the, like I felt like that's the call to action here is like equality should be that every single person, every creed, every race, every religion should have their own shitty Christmas movie that even if they chose not to watch it, hey, at least they have the option, you know? Yeah. So that was kind of my my idea on this movie. I thought it was just a bad Christmas movie, but like you said, the film is not made specifically for me, but I felt like maybe like there should have been at least some kind of more takeaways than it for for me. But I do appreciate the fact that this was a very personal film for Clea Duval. Like she made it specifically felt like it was a story that really related to her, was similar to her life and was a very personal story and she created this christmas movie that a lot of people are definitely going to be able to relate to the reasons that i didn't like the film specifically or i thought it was kind of bad was kind of just the characters motivations and actions sometimes exactly we're just yeah. like we're, we're just like uh even it, it it didn't matter that like this is specifically about like a gay couple. It was mainly just even if they were this, like if this movie, you just made it about a straight couple. I would equally hate this movie. So what, it had nothing to do with the fact that this was a same sex relationship. Obviously, I did not care about that. I actually love that aspect. I absolutely hated just the fact that like some of the characters motivations, especially Mackenzie Davis's character is just 
it seems she's just seems unrealistic she's like the person that you hate the entire movie but then you're supposed to just come to terms and like love her in the last like 10 to 15 minutes and be like yeah Kristen Stewart you're making the right decision by staying with this person who treated you horribly the whole movie it kind of seems like very predictable as you get to the end and that's kind of the things that I disliked about that movie but I feel like that's probably a lot of people that dislike this movie will have those same uh, you know griefs about this film because it's it's not like anything about the story it's just these characters motivations and like their kind of actions and what they're choosing to do is just like annoying and like frustrating mm -hmm. it's just it would be the same in any movie regardless even if it wasn't a love story when you can't really agree with why the characters are making their decisions it's really hard to stick it out yeah that was exactly it and that was my biggest gripe and problem with the film i thought that some of the performances were likable enough like at least kristen stewart was likable i mean she's not like perfect 100 percent. she has her moments where you know it was a little bit difficult for you know watching her on her end but like for the most part though i agree 100 percent. mackenzie davis is the one that's like uh really frustrating at times and stuff and especially that entire family i'd say as well too uh allison brie oh my gosh like one of the most unlikable characters i've ever seen in any kind of movie and uh <laughs> like you know we've seen some horrific horror films and thrillers and violent gritty movies and like i hated allison Bree's character within this movie she didn't really have really any redeeming factor i thought at any point in this movie and stuff and you know just how selfish like her and uh, uh mackenzie davis were like mackenzie davis is the actress i'm always hyping up on this show like oh go check her out in this movie go check her out in this movie and stuff but it was a bummer to see a character i'm just like oh not hyped on this character from her and stuff um but I mean, she's fine within the movie and I do like that, you know, she has a great arc and stuff and you definitely understand why she's coming where she is. But still, she goes to places that were just like, oh, come on, this is way too like over the top and obnoxious and like uh, and just flat out rude and stuff and just putting, you know, Kristen Stewart through stuff she shouldn't have to put up with. And um, yeah, but like, uh, it, but, you know, like there were still some positives within this movie, I thought. Um, but yeah, those were just like the things that like, you know, made me like really dislike this movie and like almost made me like you know it was almost the difference between me giving it three stars and two stars i'd say yeah yeah definitely i felt like they, like there's some fun moments there's some like good elements of comedy there but when it comes to like these characters just being annoying the entire runtime there's oftentimes where even i felt myself annoyed at kristen stewart's actions where she's just kind of taking stuff and I can't see her side necessarily in some aspects, but really at the end of the day, when it comes to the entire film, like there's other characters that are far more annoying. She is the least annoying character yeah. in the entire movie. Uh, and you definitely side with her towards the end, but then you're confused at the entire ending of the movie because you're like, wait, why do you, you're just gonna throw, basically the whole movie like doesn't matter because the ending is kind of what you'd expect. It just felt like you could guess every beat of this movie because it was very, paint by the numbers which is fine because it's a christmas movie mm -hmm. you expect movies like around christmas to be for everyone bringing the whole family we're gonna watch this so you kind of want it to be an easy story to follow along obviously this does that but it's not it would be the characters motivations and actions are not enjoyable so i don't i can't really imagine myself watching this again or watching it with like a, a group of people like family just because just because of how annoying Mackenzie Davis's character is, to be quite frank. Also, her mom too, though. Like you know, um, I uh, Mary uh, Steenburgen. Uh, I, I love her as an actress, but just like, oh my gosh, like she was just like so obnoxious throughout the movie. How rude she was to Kristen Stewart, and uh, and also a lot of people within this movie too. It's just like really like hard to watch at times. Like. Um, just like how painful like uh there's like christmas movies of course where there's always the painful family members it's like a cliche within a lot of christmas movies but you know uh she was really hard to watch and stuff her obsession with like instagram and i wanted to call out her instagram because like in the end credits we see all these photos being posted to her instagram but i'm like all these photos are only getting like 50 60 70 likes and stuff like Hell, like I hardly have any followers on Instagram. I only like it's only people I know on there, but like I get more Instagram likes than that. Why does she care so much about like, you know, like maybe like 100, 200 people following her and stuff like they're supposed to be like celebrity status within the town and stuff. And I was just cracking up at that. Like whoever did the Photoshop or like, you know, the 
the artwork for those Instagram moments in the end credits. I was like, uh, like 70 likes isn't a lot. Like they should have got someone to give them a few more likes at least to make it seem like they were her celebrity status. Yeah, I, I guess that's like a joke in itself, but it, it is kind of it is kind of stupid. And who like, takes photos with an the iPad? <laughs> they definitely wouldn't be that good of quality. I feel like iPads always like the worst quality photos. You mean to tell me why? That, like, I feel like it's that iPad with that single lens is a better camera than my iPhone 11 or your iPhone 11 Pro? Like hell no! <laughs> like f that. <laughs> Uh, it's just such an old person thing to take photos with an iPad. But the funniest thing I've ever seen with photos of an iPad is somebody at a concert holding an iPad and taking photos. Oh my gosh, in, like, you told the me about that. <laughs> and then I think someone crowd surfed into them and they dropped the iPad. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, who the hell let that person come in with an iPad even? Jeez. It's such an inconvenient... Like, they should just take the camera off the iPad. Like, you don't need it. Just take it off. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, closing <laughs> no thoughts. No one actually the- takes photo with it. <laughs> but yeah, closing thoughts with me, though. Like, uh, I'm recommending it because there's not a whole lot out. I mean, definitely go check out our fresh releases from last week for Possessor. But I get it. It's the holiday season. You want to watch a Christmas movie. Uh, this is an enjoyable movie to watch with, like, a significant other or something. Watch for a date or something. It's a fun 90 minutes, I'd say, but you're going to forget about it. Probably I don't see it being a classic and, you know, not to take away from anyone who does love this movie. Like, cool if you do. But, you know, it's like it was a okay watch. I enjoyed it. I was never bored, but it's just not the best movie by any means. It's going to be forgotten, but decent. though. Yeah, guys, and I have to agree. I would definitely recommend checking out this movie. Maybe we didn't give the most glowing review, but this is a Hulu exclusive movie. Last time we got one of those, it was Palm Springs, that Andy Samberg comedy, which we all love. So definitely check this out because you don't always get a Hulu exclusive movie. But also, if you're like me and you love every Christmas movie that's released, I'm about to watch Alien Xmas after we get off this. I'm gonna queue that up, it's on Netflix. What? (laughs) Check that out. I I watch every Christmas movie all the time because I run out of Christmas movies. There's only so many times uh, you can watch National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. And if you guys like that movie, we have a surprise for you this Thursday. So tune in on Thursday. But anyways, tune into this movie. It's available on Hulu. Uh, There's no Amazon affiliate link. So just uh, if you want to support the show, go ahead and leave a comment below. Another way to help us out is also by smashing that like button. It helps reach, uh, make this video reach a lot bigger of an audience, so please do that. And if you haven't and enjoy hearing us talk, subscribe and hit that notification bell to get all our latest updates. And guys, if you didn't know, we're actually brand new to Instagram as well as TikTok. We're available on all your favorite social media platforms, so go ahead and check the description box below for those and follow us there. Anyways, guys, tune in next week for our brand new fresh releases.